So for the first time, I'm actually sticking to the whole content for everyone thing. So here are useful Android apps for 2020. And with that said, let's get to the video. Number one, speed test. Alright, so speed test is an app that lets you see your internet speeds in such short period of time. You literally just open the app and click the go button and give it like 10 to 15 seconds and you'll get your download and upload speeds. AI Cut. AI Cut is a very useful little tool. Basically, the app has been programmed to detect what is the background and what is the foreground and lets you tweak them separately. Adobe Lightroom. Lightroom is just an incredible app for photo editing. It's made for people who are really into smartphone photography and lets you change a lot of different properties of the image. For example, you can edit something like the left hand side shot to the right hand side shot. Number 4. Google Motion Stills This is a weird one. Well, you see, Motion Stills pretty much integrates a full tripod stability into your phone. Also, it deletes any unnecessary small motion in the video. Send Anywhere Send Anywhere is a very simple tool that lets you share a file between a whole lot of different platforms from Android, Windows, Mac OS, and many more. Vidmate Vidmate is an app that lets you download YouTube videos as MP3s or video files in a very safe and secure manner with very little ads. Google Lens Google Lens is an app that lets you recognize what's around you. It can detect all sorts of things from what type of flower or just finding an equivalent product on Amazon. Number 7. Google Remote Desktop Remote Desktop is a nice little tool. Basically, you can get the app and the extension on your Chrome browser and all of a sudden you can control your Windows device with your Android device. APKP Are you in a region that doesn't support a lot of games Google Play has to offer? Well, you can directly download them from APK and you can still connect to your Google account. Photomath Everybody knows this application. What Photomath allows you to do is take a crop picture of a math equation and it will detect and solve it for you in a matter of seconds. Printershare Printershare allows you to use your printer straight from your Android. You will need an adapter though, but I will leave UK and US links in the description if any of you are interested. Here's a nice little bonus. Mega is a cloud storage system that gives you 85GB of cloud storage. You can also pay £5 a month for 400GB or £10 for 2TB or £20 for 8TB or £30 for 16TB of storage, which is just crazy. Not to mention, it runs on pretty much any OS from Android to Windows to Mac and even iOS. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and tell me if you want to see an iOS apps or Android games video next. That's all I wanted to say. Make sure to hit that like button before leaving and peace.